Everybody loves Joe. I think that was cute. I think that was very catchy. Hmm. Hello there pretty faces, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Jillian and on this channel I do everything beauty, lifestyle and travel. Yes. Now by now I sure you know that I am doing an OP series to help you become an OP and to make things a bit easier for you so you don't have any unanswered questions or you are wondering what is an OP? But if you do wonder what is an OP, be sure to check out my video that I did post. I'll be linking it up here or there or somewhere. But anywho, let's get right into today's topic. If you watched my previous video, you would know that I gave, I gave you tips that you need to know before becoming an au pair. Today, I continue with my tips, but today the tips are all about... Sorry, I wrote it in my notebook. <laughs> um, guys, I need to be organized. Like, I kid you not, here's my notebook. <laughs> okay, Um. so today... No, that's the wrong one. The wrong one. <laughs> so today I'll be sharing with you what you need to have before becoming an OP or applying to become an OP. First thing you'll need, and I hope you're writing this down, so get your notebook. The first thing you'll need are documents. Make sure that you have the necessary documents so you don't run around like a headless chicken where they require the documents. So firstly, your matric certificate. Of course, you cannot uh, you cannot apply for an OP if you do not have a matric certificate or if you did not pass your grade 12. I thought of just putting it out there. And also another thing and that I forgot to mention is you need to be 18 years and older to apply to become an OP. Another thing that I'm just throwing out there. But the first thing is you're going to need your matric certificate and any other relevant certificates. Remember, you want to get as many certificates or as many documents that make you look good so that families don't say no. And then, and then, also, and I did mention this, get a passport. I cannot urge you enough. If you want to travel, and this is not just about appearing, but if you're looking to travel, get yourself a passport. Because you cannot go anywhere without a passport, my dear. So make sure you get yourself a passport so that that is out of the way. And your references. So this all falls under number one, which I... I'm going to name documents. So documents. Under your documents, certificates, matric certificate, you want to make sure you have a passport and that you have reliable references. And also, you need pictures. Not pictures of you dancing on tables or drinking mohair, which I heard is actually pronounced moot, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Or drinking gin and tonic no you want pictures where you are having fun um, and not overdoing it we are around kids and your friends and family so that all falls under documents so I'm just gonna repeat myself again so the first thing is documents are there documents I classify that as matric certificate and then you need a passport reliable references and pictures now, number two, the second thing you'll need. So we're gonna, I'm gonna break this in six things that you need before you apply to become an au pair or to prepare you to becoming an au pair. Number two, you're gonna need a Skype account. Make sure you are registered on Skype. Last time I checked, it was for free. So reg register on Skype and have your Skype name and make sure that that is out of the way. Because in able to communicate with families, you will have to Skype with them. So make sure you have a Skype account. Number three, get your agencies. And I have mentioned this and I will keep on mentioning this. Agencies, I would suggest 
you talk to me or anybody you know who has done au pairing before and make sure that the agency you go through is a reliable trusted agency so you'll need to get yourself an agency and that is from that is self-spoken because you cannot apply to become an au pair without an agency especially in america make sure you have the necessary information and this is number four make sure you have the necessary information be informed so inform yourself be informed if you have to go google go google if you have to dm me dm me if you have to message somebody else do that but have the necessary information number five to be able to do all these fancy things, you will need laptop, tablet, or a phone. Because, I mean, like, these days we can do so many things on our phones. Because the reason I say you're going to need that is you will have to present a video when the time comes. So make sure that you have something where you can record your video, edit your video, and send your video. And then number six, which I think is one of the most important things. I don't know if I should say tips. Okay, I'm just going to say tips. But number six is very important. You're going to need the support, whether it's from your friends, your family, your work colleagues, or whoever, or even me. Like, I'll support you. I don't care. But you're going to need the support. So let's recap. Yeah, recap. Oh my gosh. <laughs> let's recap. Six things you'll need before applying to become an au pair. Number one, documents. Number two, Skype account. Number three, an agency. Number four, information. Number five, you're going to need either electronic, like laptop, tablet, or iPhone. And number six, you're going to need the support. Yes! So that's all I have for today on today's episode. Six things you need before applying to become an OPE. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment. And trust me, there will be so much more. It excites me that I get to finally share my journey with you guys and hopefully help somebody become an OPE. But babes, till next time. Bye!